Words of solidarity and support are wonderful and needed, but actions are better. This is a time of struggle and change for many communities, and even though this is a tech noodling YouTube channel, tech is not neutral, and this channel will never be neutral either. Links and resources for organizations working towards social justice and how you can actively participate will be in the description. So I used to be terrified of soldering. I was always afraid that I was gonna burn myself or that I was gonna fry a component or accidentally set something on fire in my workspace. Uh, but now that I've been doing it pretty regularly for a couple of years, like I find it to kind of be this like meditative process despite all of those risks definitely still being there. Soldering isn't like this one dimensional thing though. There's a lot of different techniques and skills within soldering. Uh, one of those being desoldering, the undoing. Uh, and I'm not great at desoldering. Uh, it can kind of get out of hand really quick and just be an absolute mess. However, uh, with the current part shortage and my overall quest to use and consume less as our planet reaches a sizzling boiling point, not unlike a puddle of flux, uh, I'm trying to get better at desoldering, uh, specifically with headers. I use headers a lot when I'm prototyping, uh, whether it's so that I can get jumper cables onto something or maybe I can make a breakup board or a dev board able to be breadboard compatible. Uh, however, in the final assembly, I don't usually want headers. I wanna do wire connections. So instead of having multiple versions of a breakout, like one that I use for prototyping and then one that I solder up for the final assembly, especially with a breakout that I may never use again in another project, uh, I'm trying to desolder the headers using this technique. And Colin's Lab actually just did a video on Adafruit's YouTube channel about this technique with getting desoldering headers. So that gave me a little bit of confidence that maybe this idea isn't like the worst thing in the world. So first, begin by pulling off the plastic bit on the row of headers. I like to use tweezers or pliers to ease it gently away from the board and then just pull on them to shimmy them fully off. This leaves you with a bunch of pins sticking out, uh, which is like super helpful. Uh, but using a third hand or a vise, secure the board so that you can access both sides easily. Then you're gonna take your soldering iron and heat up the header's soldering point. Once it reflows, gently pull away the pin using tweezers. You wanna be gentle because you don't wanna strip the pad. Now you're left with a bunch of solder clogged sockets, which is even more useful. So you're gonna take your iron and heat up solder again so that reflows and then use your solder sucker to clear out the socket. Having clear access to both sides of the board is key here so that you can get a good angle to cleanly grab all the solder. Additionally, what I like to do is kind of like press the solder sucker almost into the iron. So like your solder sucker is on one side of the board, your iron's on the other, and you're kind of pushing together so that you get a really good angle and like target with the sucker. Um, and your iron's also really heating up. So then as soon as you see that reflows, you can um, release the sucker and then it, it gets the solder right out. And that's it. You have fully desoldered headers. I came across this uh, kind of accidentally where I was trying to desolder headers the hard way where I was like heating up the point um, at the top and using the sucker from the top but you, that still leaves these like stray solder connections so you can't really get the header out and it's really frustrating. Um, but when I was doing that I realized like oh you can pull that, that plastic bit away like it comes off the board and maybe that's obvious to others but to me it was kind of earth-shattering like I didn't really realize you could do that so I thought I'd share but that's gonna do it for this video I'll link Colin's video down in the description as well and until next time this one Blitz City DIY